We are hanging out with NJIT Men's Swimming and Diving. We're joined by the head coach, Ron Farina. I'm Drew Casey. Coach, thanks so much for joining us here. We're, we're approaching the beginning yeah. of the season. I'm curious, how is everything going in the preseason and all of that? It's going pretty well. We're, we're about five weeks into the season. We open up uh, this Friday against Iona for the first time. So the guys are excited. Uh, they're ready to race. And, uh, you know, we're looking forward to a, to a good meet. Preseason in a lot of sports features scrimmages and other sort of you know, countable maybe criteria. And swimming, it's, I assume, related to times and progression and building to the end of the year. But what does the preseason really look like for NJIT swimming and diving? We did a lot of different things. We, we kind of broke it up a little bit. Um, beginning part of the season, we did a lot more dry land and running. We actually did a, uh, a biathlon uh, where the guys uh, partnered up with uh, you know, a, a teammate. Uh, they did a mile run, mile swim. Then they did a mile run where they split that up and then a mile swim. And uh, you know, the, the top three teams got out of practice 30 minutes early you know, later <laughs> on that week. So it got very competitive to say the least. So um, you know, just different things like that to kind of ease in. It really is such a long season. You know, we go from really the first day of classes through spring break this year. So, um, you know, it's, a, it's not really a sprint, it's a marathon, we say. So, and, uh, you know, with swimming, it's, you know, like the season, it's not how you start, it's how you finish. In terms of the group here, it's a very young group, mm -hmm. more underclassmen than upperclassmen, but let's split that in half. Let's talk about the upperclassmen okay. first. Uh, I think Ian maybe is the big name that a lot of people might know from mm -hmm. his various accolades, but, but what's the group of upperclassmen look like uh, for this season? I mean, there are leaders. I, I mean, Ian, as you mentioned, uh, probably the, the most decorated Highlander, especially in America East, but uh, probably one of the best swimmers ever to come through the program. Um, you know, we also have a couple of our um, uh, uh, juniors, Sam Deemer, school record holder, uh, Aiden Blackman, another school record holder, and uh, Tanish Chabra, another school record holder. So, you know, we have a lot of talent you know, on that upperclassman side, and we're really going to be depending upon uh, their leadership, you know, this year because we have such a young, a young team. Chatting with Ron Farina, the head coach here at NJIT for men's swimming and diving. Let's go to the underclassmen then, bigger group. What, uh, what have you seen from them, and, and what are you expecting? I mean, they, they, are, they are the core group of our team, um, and, uh, you know, moving forward, we have uh, really some talented freshmen uh, that are coming in. Um, Laith uh, Saba, he's uh, good friends with Tanish from Dubai. Uh, we have Francois Mallory from South Africa, um, going to be leading our sprint group with, uh, with Tanish, um, as well as uh, some of our, our, our returning sophomores, uh, Keegan Wooding, who's been just tearing it up in practice um, the last couple weeks, uh, along with Oxford, uh, Oxford Bailey, Zach uh, Kuzak. So, you know, we have a, a nice mix of uh, some young talent and some veteran leadership on this team. Somebody else on that team, on your squad, is, uh, is your son, yes. who is going to be a sophomore, but redshirted last year. So yes. it must be pretty exciting for you to, to first coach your son and, and to then to see him participate. Uh, it, it is. It is. I know he was disappointed being injured last year, and it was, it was hard for him. But uh, just proud of how he's responded. And, you know, we're looking forward to him really kind of coming back at Iona and really kind of gearing towards um, really Villanova, hopefully to be at full strength and really see – you know, really what getting back to what he was capable of. What are some of the biggest meets you're looking forward to uh, on this season? I know you like to go one yeah. day at a time, one week at a time, but if you were to look ahead, what are, what are kind of the, the big circles? I, I think that we're, we're looking forward to the NJIT invite. Um, that's something we're hosting. It's a two-day meet. It's Friday. It's Friday night and then Saturday pretty much all day. Uh, we're doing it in a championship meet format. So Friday night will be day one events which are the 500 free, um, 200 IM and 50 free and a couple relays. Saturday morning will be day two events, which is the 4 IM, 100 fly, two free, 100 breast, 100 back. We'll take like an hour break um, and then we'll do the last day's events. We won't be doing the mile. Uh, it'll be the uh, <laughs> two back, 100 free, two breast, uh, two fly and, and a relay. So we have UMass coming down for that, Vermont women. Um, as well as St. Peter's and Long Island University. So that's, that's a good meet, gives the guys a chance to some, some different events. Um, and then we have Georgetown coming into town. Um, their head coach is a former swimmer of mine, so we have a really good relationship. And then the following week, we're swimming Villanova at home, which 
you know, is something that the guys have circled. I mean, they've beaten us. It's been a tough meet the last two years, I think, by a combined 10 points wow. over the last two years. So, you know, that's a, that's a big, meet for, uh, big meet for us. And then we're returning back to the ECAC championships this year, first time really since COVID. Um, you know, we're, we're going back to that. And, you know, they've changed the format where it's prelims and finals. So, you know, we're really looking forward, uh, you know, really looking forward to that. And then getting ready for our, you know, training trip and coming back from, from Florida for that. And then we have, um, I believe it's Ryder, Seton Hall, and, uh, and Lafayette lined up before America East. So it's all kind of focused to that end, to that end sure. game, to, you know, for America East, for the guys to step up. One thing I want to throw in there, defending champs in the ECAC, and you haven't been there in a couple of years, so a chance to... Uh... Yeah, it's, <laughs> uh, I think the last time we were there, we won it. So, um, you know, again, it's a very competitive meet for us, and, you know, it's, it's an exciting event for, uh, you know, for the guys. It, it, even kind of like a, um, uh, a dress rehearsal for America East. You know, if you can win a championship, it's always good, you know, and it adds a different um, uh, mentality, you know, versus just an invite, you know, when, it's, uh, when they're giving out trophies. Well, Coach, we appreciate your time. We look forward to, to seeing some more of those trophies and, and the success this season. Thank you. Ron Farina, the head coach of NJIT Men's Swimming and Diving.